Let's try to not die. It's usually Shit. my plan. <laughs> Unless I kill you. <laughs> okay, everybody, welcome back to Idiots Rolling Dice. My name is Mimic the Idiot, and tonight we are playing Monster Hunters Wanted, our fun little side adventure. Uh, unfortunately, Daisy is sick and cannot join us tonight. Um, so we had to make a last minute audible, uh, and switch to the side quest, but that's what it's here for. Um, so I am, like I said, my name is Mimic the Idiot, dungeon mastering this little adventure, uh, and we are going to go ahead and meet our heroes tonight. Uh, so I'll call you out and just introduce, or just say the name of your character. Uh, first up, Mr. Jimmy, playing this for the first time with us. Yo, what's up, everybody? Good to have me on the finally get side quest i'm playing Ukfella, who is a dragonborn ranger so this one's gonna be interesting i hope yay uh next up mr play to fool hello i'm play to fool i'm playing zephyr he is a uh air genasi warlock ooh, ooh, ooh. last up mr vex uh what's up uh i play finn tiefling rogue oh we're getting a couple new characters tonight. Um, what's up, Robbie? Okay, so for those of you who were not here, or this is your first episode of Monster Hunters Wanted, uh, what this is is a little side quest for when people can't join the main campaign, or if we want to bring people in who maybe have expressed interest in playing, you know, bring in some guests and some stuff. Uh, but we are in the country of Varakia, 20 years after a famine desecrated the population, destroyed a lot of resources and infrastructure around, uh, and 30% of the country's population was wiped out in over the course of five years. Uh, so in the aftermath of losing all these people, uh, having the military uh, be destroyed, um, just a whole bunch of bad uh, monsters have taken to attacking outstanding or villages on the outskirts and kind of remote areas. Uh, and the High Queen has started a fund uh, of bounty hunters, basically, like state-sponsored bounty hunting, uh, for people to go and kill these monsters. A lot of times people work solo, but sometimes, in the face of big challenges, people do tend to team up. Um, so, we're going to begin our adventure with Zephyr tonight. Um, Zephyr, so you got, you're a few weeks after... You guys last took on the Mind Flayer with uh, Miss Ferris and Quinn. Um, you are just moving along. Maybe you've stolen another cart from somebody on the road. Um, and you caught wind of a large, large bounty, even bigger than the Mind Flayer one, uh, in this remote mountain town of Sassina. Um, very high up in the hills. Uh, it's like a high desert. Um, so, like, these high, tall, dry mountains, um, and you are just taking your this path up. Uh, not a lot of information has spread about this bounty uh, this time, but this mining town is, you know, a lot of riches up there. So, the locals are very eager to get uh, on, get rid of their monster and get back to work. Uh, what do you think Zephyr is doing? What's he feeling? Uh... He's basically just, again, just in it for the money. So he's just coming into town, going straight for the bounty board, looking for the highest payout. Okay. Um, so you get to town first. Uh, you were kind of in the area already. Um, go ahead and give me a perception check. Perception 20, 30, 20. 30, 20. Okay, um, so you take, you're riding this carriage into Sassina, and um, what you see is, unlike Donaldson, this town is still very, very vibrant. There's a lot of people going around. Uh, it's, I mean, it's just like a standard kind of mountain town, so very, very active with tradesmen and all sorts of miners and stuff. Um, but people do seem like angry um different than much much different than donaldson when you guys were there um and you find the bounty board is not like attached to the bar but is instead just like on this large 
stone like column in the middle of the city. Um, on that, you see, I mean, several small bounties for the nearby areas, but um, you do find one big bounty. Uh, it says it's talking about a creature hiding in the caves and dragging workers out from a certain mine. Um, nobody has lived to tell the tale. Nobody has seen it has lived, apparently. Um, and the reward is uh, 7,000 credits this time, or 7,000 gold this time, which is more than the last one. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna just ask around the town and be <coughs> ask anybody who's associated with people who have who have gone missing like what their loved ones were doing like were they workers were they just like exploring just that the other thing so zephyr starts his uh, adventure around town uh finn tell us a little bit about yourself uh so finn is kind of just an asshole <laughs> uh grew up on the streets of a city made his kind of made a name for himself of just stealing shit off the off carts and stuff and uh pretty much he found his way into matcha hunting as a way to kind of make a name for himself he kind of wants to be a little bit famous gotcha gotcha so he, he's pretty full of himself so finn you see um a you see this air genazi kind of park this cart uh just outside of the stone column where you know the bounty board is here in Cecina, uh, and you see uh, this this person get out to look at the bounty board and read some stuff, but you see that they've left a carriage unattended. What are you doing? Uh, he's going to sneak up and look through this carriage. Okay, go ahead and give me a stealth check. Uh, 7 plus 10 27 <laughs> that's pretty good um what's your perception modifier zephyr uh perception modifier is uh i uh, was just gonna plus three <clears throat> plus three uh go ahead and give me a perception check just to see if you can roll in that 20 <laughs> nope nope 17 um so, uh, Finn, you sneak up to this cart and, like, uh, give me a perception check or investigation check real quick. Investigation 16 plus 1, 17. 17. Um, so you notice that, like, the person who got out of the cart is well-armed. Uh, you look at, like, some of the stuff in here, clearly, like, monster hunting equip equipment and stuff. Um, but you see, you know obviously the equipment, but, like, a bag of what would be, like, caving supplies for, like, going down on a cave and stuff uh, in the back here. Um, looks like they probably kept all their money and valuables on their person, but there's some, like, food and some supplies uh, in the in their cart. Definitely just going to take the food. Take the food? All right. So you just... <laughs> Walk up, sneak by, grab the food. It's just like a bag of like salted meats, jerky, and stuff. Uh, you start snacking on. Uh, I'm warm... gonna snack on him and walk right up to him. Yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> Zephyr behind you, uh, uh, this this little tiefling just snacking on a piece of beef jerky comes up and just goes like, "What's up?" Ah, uh, not much. Just uh, looking around town, seeing. Who knows about the mines and the caves and all that? Oh, There's yeah. Stuff uh, going on. Uh, yeah, some stuff's going on, you know? Uh, a lot of stuff's going on. Uh, you want me to, I can show you around. So, you, you know about this stuff? You know yeah. where, this, where all this is? I know where the mines are. Okay. Let's go. Explore the mines together. Oh, that's it's gonna cost you a little penny, though. Is it new? I could just ask somebody here and get it for free. Well, you see, I'm the best guide around. You know, there's nothing more 
better than a person that grew up on the streets looking out for you. You know, they know every little nook and corny in this place. Corny? So, uh, are, <laughs> you from, corny are you from Cecina? Maybe. Maybe not. I think, I think the best guide would be somebody from the city that I'm trying to be guided around. Never said I wasn't from here. Never said I did. How about this? Five gold, we call it a deal, all right? All right, sounds good to me. I'll give him five gold. <laughs> um, so you toss him five gold. Uh, as you guys make this little uneasy arrangement here, uh, Ufila, you ride into this mountain town on a horse uh, coming through here. Tell us a little bit about uh, your character, um, if you would. Well, let me go off the character sheet because I didn't type the description. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. I am a dragonborn. I don't know why I'm on horseback, so... It's a long climb up the top of the mountains. Yeah, that's it's true. a big horse. Yeah, it's, it's, a, big horse. it's a thick horse. It's like a Clydesdale. It's thick. Yeah, it's got <laughs> it's it's definitely a thick horse. Well, my background is a soldier, as also it's not really a stealthy rogue like in another place, but fairly experienced in combat situations. So you've probably been around for a little bit uh, and realized that. After your, like, conscription into the Varakian military was up, uh, it was much more lucrative and much more fun to be a monster hunter. Um, since then, you've just kind of gone, gone around, and you're a sharpshooter with a bow. Um, so you ride into town. You see these two people uh, kind of getting into a little negotiation outside, like, right next to the bounty board. And... Um, you, 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 you know that there's this big bounty going around, huge. I mean, much bigger than what you would normally get. Um, and you see, I mean, you're in a very busy town. Uh, lots of stuff going on. Bit, very active. There's clear. There's clearly like a gold rush kind of going on in um. Uh, in Cecina right now. Uh, so like people are very very. Uh, excited to be here. So what's going on over here, guys? So I write up these their arguments. Um, so Zephyr and Finn, you guys see this this tall dragonborn with a bow at his side, uh, right up to you, and is like, "What's going on?" Uh, Zephyr kind of taps Finn on the shoulder, and goes, "That's a big boy. That is a very." Big boy. Uh, hello, sir. Um, what can I help you with? Oh, I'm just riding into town, you know, looking for a job. Just saw you guys looking a little uneven, uneasy. I just wanted to make sure y'all are good, all right? Oh, we're fine. We're friends, right, buddy? Um, sure. That's what I thought. You don't seem so... Like, can I throw an inside check on that? Yeah, go ahead and roll an inside check. 22. 22. Okay, so you're in a unique position to uh, kind of know about a lot about these two people in particular. First off, with a 22 insight, you get the feeling that these guys just met. Um, however, you are a little bit familiar with both of them. Uh, you've seen Zephyr around uh, in both good contexts and bad in the fact that he was... A guy who used to be kind of a thief, a troublemaker around towns and stuff that you, like, heard about, had a run-in with once or twice before, uh, and you've heard recently that he's been monster hunting. Uh, so this Air Genazi, um going around, uh, and this smaller tiefling gentleman uh, in front of you as well, it was a well-known little miscreant back in the day. Um, just, you know, once again... Kind of a troublemaker, kind of lived a hard life, but caused a lot of problems in addition to it. Um, so you have a cursory knowledge that at least one of these two people is a monster hunter like yourself. 
and both of them have a problematic past, we'll say. Um, but they are not friends. You I've known before. I've, we've ran into, I've ran into you at least twice before. I can tell you guys aren't friends. Who are you pointing at? Uh, play. What's your name again? Zephyr. <laughs> Zephyr. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, a lot so, of people know me. You not know, cause any problems, are you? I haven't found anybody as a bad at cards yet. Just got <laughs> here. <laughs> I take another piece of jerky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you five gold for that. I'll bet. Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'll give you five gold. So you, uh... Finn, you don't have any jerky, but you're up 10 gold um, <laughs> from this adventure uh, so far. Um, so Zephyr... Oh, by the way, did you want to tour the place? I can give you a nice tour. <laughs> give me my five gold back. Why would I might give you five gold? Because that's your price, right? Well, my price would be 10 gold. Oh, so you gave him five. And you're asking 10 for me. I charged him 10, too. Deception check. Uh, Give me a deception check. Zephyr, are you playing along with his little game, or are you... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm playing along with him. Okay, so uh, give me your deception check with advantage, and Jimmy, roll insight for me. Okay. Let me see if I rolled a dad 20 on this one. Okay, I rolled a 19, so 29. You said insight, right? Yeah. <laughs> Crap. 16. Uh, yeah, I mean, this guy looks like he charged 10 gold for the, the tour as well. Uh, he's offered Zephyr, this Monster Hunter you know, a tour. Uh, and obviously, like, what you can tell is that this, like, the bounty, you kind of take a look at the uh, bounty board. Uh, read some of the description of what's going on. Uh, what you can tell is that, like, this is a big monster. You're probably going to need help with this, so might not be the worst thing in the world to team up with at least Zephyr, who you know is another monster hunter. So how about this? I'll join you guys and help you for five gold, not ten. I'll take five. I'll give you a jerky back. Okay, I mean... <laughs> Alright, I'll take the five gold and the jerky. <laughs> However this transaction plays out, uh, you guys have all kind of come together. <clears throat> um, Finn definitely, like, kind of, like, turns to himself and just goes, I just made, like, 15 gold for nothing? Cool. <laughs> Man, this guy can't even charm himself out of a paper bag. <laughs> Uh, so you guys are both thinking that you won over the other person. Um, all right, so you guys kind of all group up in the middle of this uh, this mining town. Uh, lots of people going around, going around. Lots of like stores, uh, bars. You know, what do you guys? Uh, how do you proceed with your little investigation? Uh, Finn is just gonna go to the bar because he knows bar keeps are always the best people to find information about uh do the rest of you right i could use a drink yeah um so you guys all follow finn to the bar um inside i mean it's keeping up keeping up with like the illusion that he's giving a tour he's like this the shops Blacksmith is over there, you know. <laughs> Just pointing at a random house, he has no idea. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys follow uh, Finn into the bar. Uh, inside the bar is there's like a a small uh, band with like a like a lute and like a small like drum kit, uh, like a couple of bards playing. Um, there are all sorts of types of uh people in the bar there's there's obviously like dwarves and orcs who have come to help with the mining and stuff uh this is a, this is a 
bustling, bustling town. It's almost like a Western saloon that you guys are in, only, you know, medieval. Um, so lots of people. You guys find uh, there's a huge, like, 60-foot-long bar uh, with several different bartenders behind it. Um, you guys find space, uh, and there's a, a dwarf bartender behind the uh, the store. Who's like, hey, what can I get you? How tall is the bar? Is he sitting on a stool? It is. I am tall enough to look over the bar. All I see is just, your forehead. Just barely. Do you want a drink or not? <laughs> yeah, I'll take a drink. Then how about you shut your fucking mouth? Uh, duly <clears throat> noted, barkeep. Duly noted. Uh, have a drink for all three of us. How about that? Okay, we want you want beer or vodka or what? Definitely vodka. Come on. Okay, you get vodka. Pours the drink. What about you, tall fellows? What do you want? Beer and whiskey. Okay, we well, can do that. Uh, I'll take a beer. They <clears throat> they pour an ale and then pour a whiskey. Uh, for you, Finn, and then a beer for you, Zephyr. Uh, yes, what brings you to Sazina? Uh, I'm looking for information about the mines. What about the mines? The mines are busy. You go to a fucking mining company if you want to know about the mines. Slides 10 gold in front of the bartender. Is, do you have a specific question about the mines? Uh, I just heard that uh, people have been going missing up there. Uh, yes, yes. People have been missing and miners not coming home from their shifts. It's very, very dangerous. Gold gems going missing from mines is not good. But I only hear what I hear from the people who come back alive, so I don't know for sure. Can you point Can us you... in the direction of one of them that's alive, if they're even at the bar? This bar is filled with people who have come back from working in the mines all day. I, that was a stupid-ass question. I don't know why I asked that. It... You're a stupid ass guy, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> watch your tongue, little dwarf man. Uh, as you threaten him, um, you see like all of these, or as you like say that to him, you see like everybody kind of turns and looks at you. Um, <laughs> you realize that you should not fuck with the bartender in this place. <laughs> uh, I think you should stand down, man. Uh, relax, everybody. Just relax, all right? God. I'll play you a song. How about that? Go up and grab a loot. Uh, get, give me a performance check. <laughs> 16 plus 4. 33. God, you did. Uh, I, min, I fucking min-maxed the fuck out of this character. <laughs> okay, uh, you, you, you don't, like, win the crowd over by playing this thing. This song with the loot, um, but everybody does just kind of go back to their drinks and uh, turn their gazes off you. Okay, you two people, tall boys, uh, what else do you want to know? Are you here, what, are you trying to find whatever's happening, or are you just curious travelers? <clears throat> Zephyr just kind of leans in and goes, just a curious traveler as far as they know. Just trying to figure out what's going on and make a payday out of this. Uh, I'm, with, I'm with him. Everybody wants a payday. Everybody coming to the scene for payday. I can't complain. I've been good for business. Uh, what's not good for business is if people keep fucking dying. They should just, like, not die, right? Is that, is that so hard? Are they dying because of mining? Or are they dying for other reasons? I mean, I can't promise that the corporate mining companies are treating their employees well and fully recognizing their safety, but from what I've heard, there's been something other than just, like, mine collapses and stuff. I mean, there's a straight-up board out there, my guy, that has a monster bounty on it, mm -hmm. so... Yes. So... Mainly that's the information we're looking for. I... And he already gave us it. If you want... If you want the further detailed information, if you you can talk to some of the like 
mining companies who have actually lost the workers uh, closer to the entrance of the mines. He like points you in the direction uh, is the headquarters of some of the mining companies. The Finn's already out. Finn's already out the door. They have more official reports. I'm gonna let him go, but I'm gonna make a perception check on the bartender here. Uh, go ahead. Are you like trying to see what's around in the bar, or are you like trying to like gauge whether or not he's being honest with you? Trying to gauge him. Uh, then that'd be insight. Insight. Okay, so that would be twelve. Twelve. Uh, I mean, it seems to be telling the truth. Everything seems to be above board. Um, I just drink my whiskey and finish my beer. I'm out the door with Finn. Okay. Yes. Have a good one. Don't die. Come back. Give him five gold as a tip. I appreciate you, tall man. Zephyr kind of just slowly follows behind. You know, they're like this and just getting the information. Hopefully they're like this in combat and I'm the only one coming back. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, you see that everybody just kind of leaves you alone. You guys are allowed to leave the uh, bar unaccosted. <clears throat> On the way, Finn is stopping at every single shop and just trying to barter for shit. <laughs> uh, okay, so like the first shop is just like a general supply shop. Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, yeah, um, I have this amazing beef jerky recipe that you have to have in your own shop. I have plenty of food in my own shop. We do fine on our own. But he pulls out a beef of jerky and just kind of waves it. And it's like, this stuff is magical, you know? Can you it prove is... it's magical? I, I... Or was magical like a turn of phrase? Referencing it's a how phrase. good it is. It's how good so, it is, yes. So it's not actually magical. It's splendid. Is that a better way of putting it? Mm -hmm. In a world where magic is very, very common, it, uh, have to make it's a sure... poor choice of words, you know? It's a poor choice of words. That's my fault. You know, I'm just a businessman trying to make a deal, you know? I'm trying to get my product out there. Yes, okay, and... Uh, how much do you want for this recipe? Uh, 50 gold. 50 gold for a recipe for beef jerky, yes. Yes. which is just dried meat, <laughs> salted and preserved. But this is the best stuff you'll ever have. Give me a persuasion check with disadvantage. <laughs> Six, go, two, B, eight, ten. She says, do you wish to buy anything from my store? It just walks out. <laughs> That's okay. Yes. Uh, next shop is like a blacksmith. All right, what can I do you? Uh, how's it going, Mister? Uh, what can I do you? I need a dagger. What kind of dagger? Uh, one that's gonna kill monsters pretty easily. I, I mean, yes, we got a silver dagger. That's pretty good. Kill monsters. Uh, we got mm, high quality daggers. Nothing like oh. magical, but like, you know, pretty good stuff. Anything as I kind of like pull out my hand and it just a psychotic or psychic blade just kind of kind of shimmers. Goes, this is pretty cool, right? I want something like shiny. I got lots of stuff that's shiny, but nothing like, <laughs> nothing quite like what you got there, son. Uh, go ahead and kinda... <laughs> give me an investigation check. Why was I waiting for the spittoon paint when you were saying all that? <laughs> what did you say, in, uh, investigation? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a 17. 17. Uh, you notice kind of like looking around as he's saying, I got shiny stuff, but I don't got like that shiny stuff. Uh, you do see, like, a a little, like, newspaper almost, uh, and there's an advertisement for an, uh, like, uh, Theo the Mystical Engineer on, uh, on the, uh, like, desk. I kind of point to the newspaper and go, how about him? I mean, Theo can, like, 
do some engineering stuff. He's pretty, I mean, he, Theo's, uh, I mean, he, he works up the road if you want to go check him out. He can't make weapons like me, where you can but turn can... weapons into oh. cooler stuff, I guess. He just kind of snaps with, that's what I need. Yeah. I'll buy, I'll still buy a dagger. Your best dagger. Uh, my best dagger gonna be this silver dagger. It's gonna be 300 gold. <laughs> Do I have 300 gold? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll give him 300 gold. Nice. Nice working with you, mister. If you're ever oh, in yeah. town again, I need to come back anytime with some more prep time. I can do a lot of stuff. But... I'm going to Hunter Monster right now, so I needed something. Yeah, I feel that. Don't die. Something other than these shiny blades, as he kind of does this thing again. <laughs> he does his iconic blades again. Psychic blades, whatever they are. <laughs> All right, then. Good. Go working with you. Uh, is anybody, uh, Zephyr or uh, Ufla, either of you looking for any supplies or anything? Um, uh, in I walk into the same black ship, blacksmith shop, and been walking out. Hey, what can I do for you? As he walks by, can I pickpocket him? Uh, go ahead and give me a sleight of hand check. Uh, <laughs> Ufla, give me a perception check. Sleight of hand. 23. <laughs> Ooh, he's not going to like this. How about 26? Um, uh, Finn, I kind of bump into him. You bump into him and like you try to lift the coin purse off. Uh, and Finn just catches your arm with his coin purse still wrapped around his belt. And like there's a <laughs> knife in your side. Uh, and Finn, you catch this guy truly like just trying to pickpocket you after you paid him to give you a tour of the city uh, and you're threatening him with a dagger now <laughs> uh, he said it backwards yeah you said it backwards right, yeah. so Ufla you're you have Finn <laughs> at knife point now what do you think you're trying to do nothing nothing at all you I just bumped that... in I bumped into you and like my hand somehow got under your coin purse when my when like I like went to like bump into you, you know. Yeah, but just why an honest is mistake. Your hand should not be wrapped around a coin purse. I mean, the way I bumped into you, I was kind of like striding out because I just got my nice silver dagger from this beautiful, kind gentleman behind me. Yeah, that's pretty good yeah, about me. <laughs> I kind of pushed the dagger and twist a little bit. Don't do that again. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Pushes in a little harder. Uh, I'm not trying to draw blood. But you I take. Will if I have to. Uh, okay, you're not trying to draw blood. You're just no. okay. Uh, so you Finn. Warning shot. Finn, now, you. Is this happening like in the entrance of the building? Straight up in the doorway. It's like, <laughs> hey, if you're gonna fight, please move it out of my shop. Or if you're gonna fight. Right. In my shop, you can buy something first and fight with that. And so while that's, so while if we that's all to, going on, so if we while that's all going on, Zephyr shop. is going to take that opportunity to try to pickpocket Quinn, uh, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> so Zephyr, you walk up and you're just like, hey guys, let's get out of the doorway here. Uh, give me a sleight of hand check, Zephyr, and Quinn, or Finn, give me a perception check. 16. Uh, I got a 16 also. <laughs> uh, roll off. Do it again. 18. I got a 19. Okay. Uh, as Zephyr, as you're trying, like, masquerading, trying to lead these guys out of the shop and just further on this journey, uh, Finn, you feel around your coin purse, um, it's a, a little tug here. <laughs> I I see turn my hand around and just have the psychic blade up to his throat, like behind me. As I kinda like stare back and go like try it. I dare you. Um as you guys I will make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die. You're all dead. All of us have to do this. I got uh, anybody within five feet of me. Uh, so yeah, both of you have to make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> it's my 
it's actually a plus three, so 17. <sighs> 21. All right, you both pass. <laughs> okay. Does anything happen to them, or? Uh... No, they they just hear a loud clap of thunder. Uh, you guys both... Nothing, nothing happens to them. You guys both in your heads hear this <laughs> crash of thunder. Uh, and then all of you hear, like, very distinct, loud, like, boot stomps uh, walking forward towards you. Uh, and what, you... Did, you get, did you get the wet noodle, huh? Nothing happened, huh? You hear a voice call out, now, all of you, separate and shut up. You turn to see this seven-foot-tall orc woman carrying a giant pickaxe uh, with, like, a cowboy hat and, like, a star on her belt. Um, one significantly large tusk that almost goes up to her eye, uh, scars all across her face, um, and just, like, could absolutely crush all of you. Finn, Finn instantly hides. <laughs> Finn is not dealing with her. I can see you back there. Uh, I, don't you I don't? Turned, I turned to Finn. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I was trying to buy some swords. Uh, blame him. <laughs> so I point, Z so I point to, uh, Zephyr. <laughs> Zephyr just looks up at her and goes, you look like you know where we're going. Can you tell, Can you show us the mines? If you guys don't all get your act together, you're going to be in jail, is where you're going. Now you, tiefling boy, get out from behind that barrel. <laughs> I slowly get out. <laughs> <laughs> all of you, come here. She has, like, one hand on the pickaxe and just, like, motions <laughs> the rest of you. I slowly walk up. Faster, boy. <laughs> Do not test I just, me. I just grab him by the ear and pull him up. Zephyr kind of stands behind Ufla and just starts starts to pu starts pushing. <sighs> Yo, don't do this, guys. She's fucking scary. Don't do it. Suck it up, Buttercup. With all this trouble that you two, you three, have been causing, you're either criminals or monster hunters. Which one is it? The latter. The ladder. Depends on the day. What? Why would you be honest? You haven't broken any laws here, have you? Nope. Then that's fine. Short shit down there, has. I haven't done shit. <sighs> you guys are going after what's been attacking the mines. Yes, that's what you're here for? Yes. Good. Yes. Then I'm the one you need to see. Alright? Uh, okay. And when you kill that thing, if you do, but based off what I'm seeing here, I doubt any of you come back, uh, you return with proof to me at the sheriff's office. Okay? Now I'm going okay. to take you to okay. the mining company. Uh, the, the Hedsburg Mining Company. And we're going to go meet with the, the general manager over there. He'll tell you what you need to know. And if you guys cause any more trouble in my city, I have no problem beating your ass. Okay? Are we all on the same page? Meanwhile, while she's saying that, Zephyr is just, like, kind of pointing over towards Finn. <laughs> Why are you... Blaming me. I'm kind of giving the dead eye. You're a tiefling. You're all troublemakers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is... Don't be racist. That... This is not the Varaki of 50 years ago. Their friend. You're an Ergen Nazi, too. You're literally... Okay, if Th one more person... These are a race born of chaos. No, we aren't. We are a race born of demons and fays. Just because we were born like this doesn't mean we are born into chaos. We are gentle beings, okay? We can have love and passion 
and great sex, okay? I need to know that last part. <laughs> I'm on the same page. I, I cannot believe you. I thought you monster hunters were progressive, anything goes type people, and now you're just uh, I'm finding out there's so much prejudice in the community. Hey, it's not healthy. Incredible. Okay, I mean, Can we still kill monsters hunter, now? I literally haven't been a monster hunter more than like okay. two years, and I've experienced so much prejudice because I'm a fuck tiefling. Is it because you're a tiefling <sighs> or because you're a dick? It's because I'm a tiefling. I'm a good person. Mm. <clears throat> That's why the sheriff uh -huh. was brought down to you. Uh, the sheriff wanted to meet me personally because I'm awesome. Well, as the sheriff, I can guarantee you that that is not the truth. Are you sure about that? With a knife in your side, you're a good person. You put that knife there yourself. Uh, so what's you your armor class? Finn, what's your armor class? 15. Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll just roll one of these. Uh, you take five damage, she just punches you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, she's so strong, and she completely, like, knocks you back. And then she, like, bends down to you and whispers, Yes, I'm sure about that. Now follow me, or I will put you in jail. Okay. Are you less of a teethling now because you miss some teeth? <laughs> uh, you're lucky. I, that you're I'm so sorry. lucky right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to go there. You know me. I had to go there. Okay. So our problematic group of friends um, follows this sheriff. Uh, uh, that sheriff Walina is her name. Uh, up to the Hedisburg Mining uh, Company, which is, like, one of three significant employers of people throughout the city. Um, and you find this, like, um, this tiny elf person is, like, behind a desk with these, like, uh, small round glasses on, like, yes, yes, uh, come in, come in. What can I help you with, Sheriff? Uh, and she introduces... Now, there's some monster hunters here trying to take out whatever's been attacking your workers. Uh, right, let's go. Hashtag yo boys. Let's uh, help them along. So, yes, the sheriff introduces you. Uh, she, like, tips her hat and gets out the door. Uh, and this elf person's like, yes, yes. Bye. What, what can I help you with? Monster hunters? That's good. That's We've been needing those. Most people don't like us. I'm kind of surprised you're all jolly. Well, uh, I have lost 55 employees over the last few weeks. Fuck that, I'm out. 55? Whoa. I tell you what, the, uh, yes, it's been, it has been pandemonium around here. It really has, I cannot, con I'm, luckily, there's only three employers in the city, so, like, people don't have any place better to work. Uh, but, yes, I've lost a lot of employees, uh, lately. It's not been good. How many other companies lost? Not as many, but still, they've all they've all lost a few. So, like around a hundred, seventy. Well, I, I think in total, the total is like seventy employees in the last few weeks. I mean, we're a mine. We're like we're we do mining, so there's like the standard allotment of like employee deaths. Like, oh, we expect this to happen, but this has been like a pretty. <laughs> Significant bump in that, I'd say. But what, what did you say? Like, maybe maybe five, if not ten, at most, deaths from just mining, right? Uh, I, this is why that there's been a problem. People have been so going six, missing. So, around 65 people have died from whatever's in there. Fuck that. That's fucking awful. I tell you what. I need all the help I can get. You really are... You're, there's a seven thousand dollar, seven thousand coin bounty on this whatever this creature is. You're really gonna pass that up, you little scared? I didn't think most of the hunters were scared. Uh, tell you what, if you spread my name, I'll do it. What's? I mean, I want to be known as the best monster hunter. Okay, all right. If that is what gets sets you over the top, what's your name? Finn. Finn, all right, Finn, you come back alive with proof of the 
whatever this is being dead, I will spread, I will shout your name from the mountaintops. Finn is the greatest. What about the other two? <laughs> I go out to shake his hand before they can even say anything. <laughs> he shakes your hand. The other two, hello, yes. Do you need any extra incentive? Because I need this taken care of as fast as possible. I'm just here to take care of the problem. I'm just here to get the money, so I need to know where I'm going. Good, honest adventurers. All right, we like that. We appreciate uh, folks with simple wants and simple needs. That is what we love around here, uh, because we do not go above and beyond for our employees. All right, uh, welcome. Uh, I what? have... Uh, you're a private contractor, not an employee. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> uh, we have a guide who can take you to the area of the mines that we've closed off where the most people disappeared from uh, he will not like adventure with you further but can like tie a rope or something like he's got a really he's got uh, like infinite rope magic infinite rope uh, standard does issue he, does he know most of everything that you do Yes. Awesome. Just lead us to him and we'll talk to him. Okay. Yes. Uh, Potsworth, come in here. Uh, and this, like, you can tell he's a dwarf, but he's the tallest dwarf you've ever seen. Um, like, facial structure, like, build is very similar to dwarfs, but it's a, he's just a very big, very stout dwarf. Yeah. How can I help? Uh, you gonna lead us to where the people have been disappearing? Yeah, I'll take you that far. Awesome. Can you answer questions on the way? I can do that. Awesome. Uh, Finn turns to the manager and just kind of goes, thank you. You're very welcome. Come back alive so I can shout your name, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, and Finn just starts walking out with Potsworth or whatever his name is. Yeah, Potsworth. Yeah. And he, Finn just wanted to get out of there just because he said guide and Finn thinks he's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do, do the other two follow uh, Potsworth and Finn? Yeah, Zephyr follows behind. Um, I kind of take, take giving Finn that side eye the whole time. I get behind Finn just to keep an eye on him. <laughs> okay. Um, Why are you looking at me like that? Thought you were the guide. Guy. Uh, never said anything of that sort. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, as soon as they get you guys get out of the uh, manager's office, uh, Potsworth turns to you and is like, "All right, so here here's the deal. Uh, we're gonna tie a rope around the uh, the entryway here. This is a magical infinite rope." Uh, all of you, feel free to loop yourselves to it, um, but we are going to go in. I'll take you to the entryway to like the little corridor off where we've had the most people disappear. We'll make another tie knot there uh, so you can find your way back, and that's as far as I go. Uh, he like ties a rope around like a little post at the entryway, loops himself around it. All right. Mm, let's start trekking. Um, do you all follow him into the in the mine? Uh, take another piece of jerky. Hey, you got an extra one of those? <laughs> oh, hell yeah, buddy. Just for you. I, hand, I just hand him the bag. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, you know. Big bosses don't really treat us very well around here, but... Mm. Uh, that doesn't sound like it. You know, at least we're not the other mining company where, like, they whip their employees for not working fast enough. Or the other one that, like, makes you guys pee in water bottles or something? Like, what is that? Jesus. Um, he, he, they like, don't make them drink it then, do they? Well, well you know. Some might be desperate enough. Yeah, I mean, certain people get desperate enough, but if we look at the science of hydration, that's just not a good thing, am I right? Yeah, that, that, bleh. Yeah. Probably doesn't taste good either. Oh. Fuck if I know, dude, I don't drink pee. I mean, I hope not. <laughs> um... Do you guys loop yourselves to the rope as well, or do you just kind of, like, follow behind? I definitely loop myself to the rope. Okay. Yeah, same. 
All right, you said you had some questions. Uh, you guys venture into the tunnel. There's like, uh, clearly like a magic, uh, like light that is like perpetually kept in here. So it's not like, it's not like bright light, but it's like a dimly lit mine. Um, you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, what kind of do you know? The people that are vanishing. Uh, do you know like, are there any bodies coming back? Or have you found any remnants of the bodies, or like anything of sorts that you can tell us uh, an inkling of what it could be, just from what yeah. body parts are left and stuff? Yeah, we haven't really found remnants, but there has been when people have disappeared, there has been like a really strong smell of sulfur, typically, like uh, acidic, almost. If that makes sense. And just look at the rest of them go to how I don't know. Yeah, and we've also noticed that like the the gold and gems that workers dug up has gone missing too. Um so I would love some gold right now. Yeah, wouldn't we all, brother? Wouldn't we all? Uh, um Anything else? Uh, like any of the survivors here? Anything that they just keep like talking about over and over? Uh, I mean, we've heard some screams of people get taken away. Uh, maybe heard like a monstrous screech every now and again. You know, that's kind of to be expected in mines like this, though. You know, occasionally. I mean, you you said you said gold was taken, right? And yeah, stuff. unrefined, but still taken. I mean, it's so gold. I mean, has there any been, like, burn marks anywhere? Uh, go ahead and give me an intelligence check. That's not that good. 13? Uh, like, fire burn? No. Yeah, okay. I, I was just, because, you know, dragons love their treasures, so... Yeah, and you no... guys are, are a mine, and dragons love caves. Yeah, no real evidence of fire. Um, there's been some some rock faces that look like they've been eroded fast, but no fire. And like I said, sulfur is really the only smell we could get. Well, sulfur can be kind of common in the mine, though, right? Yeah, it's really not that concerning for the most part, but hey. You got to do what you got to do, right? Mm-hmm. Got to earn that paycheck. But yeah, we've never recovered any bones, any clothes, any items, apart from stuff that was dropped from clearly wherever people were taken from. Uh, so. All right. Whatever's taking them is taking all of them, you know? Or disposing of it all some way. Or digesting them. Yeah, that that would fall under my disposal part. <laughs> Finn just looks at the other two, goes, "I got all my questions." I can't think of anything to ask either. Okay. I can't either. All right. Well, here we are. Uh, he makes another little rope tie off. Uh, and then there's like this clearly barricaded like um tunnel that goes deeper and deeper into the mines also goes like upwards um a little bit um says that's where most people have gone missing from and this is where we part ways come back alive or don't i don't really care got a question for you one more last one what's up how good was that jerky it's it's pretty standard jerky. It's good. You want the recipe? I know how to make jerky. How much? Just... What do you want for? Are you just gonna give me the recipe? Yeah, give me the recipe. I mean, I was gonna go like ten gold. No, I work minimum wage, and uh, I get I right. most of what I can get is paid out in, like, company store credit. This is a very bad situation here. 
Well, hopefully we fix that. Yeah, I hope so too. And hopefully you guys get better treatment. I wouldn't bet on it. Go a strike, man. Stand up for yourselves. Come on. I guess. Probably. Oh, you guess? Point. Where's that enthusiasm? Come on. I. There's not Better much I have to be enthusiastic condition. about here, friend. Better work conditions. He just starts following the rope back. <laughs> <laughs> says, here, take this. You can follow if you can tie it to points and maybe keep a record of how to get back here. But up that tunnel is where we found most of the shit. So, or found hopefully most of the shit. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and Pops Finn just turns, <laughs> Finn turns Pops to the ghost works. guys. Goes, I hope he starts a riot. Nothing like business during a riot, you know. Can sneak into places, steals a lot of shit, as he just kind of nudges uh, Zephyr. This is true. Uh, good riots th are, are a great distraction. I'm gonna start a right? riot. Plus, I mean, I mean Mister Goody Two Shoes over there wouldn't understand. Kind of give a little bit of a finger to Finn. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. You're just my number one fan, buddy. <laughs> Finn just starts walking. All right, so you guys tie off the rope at the little uh, corner uh, and head out. Um, everybody go ahead and give me investigation checks as you like. Um... Natty 20. Okay. 10. So I'll just tell you guys what... I'll tell Finn what he sees, uh, and you can share. Um, he said with... investigation, right? Yeah. 18. Uh, and you can share what you want with the rest of the group. Um, so first off, Zephyr, uh, you see that this place looks like it's been mostly abandoned, apart from the light that is like kind of perpetually kept. Uh, I mean, it looks like a mine shaft. Um, Ufla, um, what you see is that like. There's a lot of, like, stuff that looks like it was dropped in a hurry around here. Um, so you see, like, pickaxes kind of laying around and, like, carts and some knapsacks laying around. Uh, so it looks like people have, like, more than once left this place in a hurry. Finn, what you see as you kind of take a closer look um, is you see something uh, that Pottsworth said is that, like, one of the walls... Looks like it was not mined out, but, like, eroded or corroded in some way. Um, and, like, but just, like, in a weird, like, certain splash. Not, like, along the entire wall. Just, like, a couple spots you see, like, splashes of where, like, there's extreme corrosion on the walls, right? Um, additionally, as you kind of look around, like, see some of these broken pickaxes and stuff... You see evidence of what appears to be like claw marks um, at certain points in the wall um, and just throughout the throughout the tunnel. Um, like how big are the claw marks? Like decent size or like smaller? Not like massive, massive, but clearly not like a human sized. Um, okay. Are they creature. all like? Are they all, like, around similar the same size? Or the exact same size? Roughly all. They look like they all come from... The, they do all come from the same creature. Okay. So something that's, like, bigger than a human or, like, a, like an animal-sized beast, but smaller than, like, a... Monst like, a huge monstrosity. Yeah, so Finn is just kind of sitting near, like, the... After taking in all the sights, he's just putting a hand up to the wall that's corroded and be like, you guys... The only thing I know that kind of, like, spits out acid from my hunts, at least, is just a dragon. Like an acidic dragon. I don't know what else can spit acid. Uh, so anybody where... else can roll a history check if they want. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Five. Five. 
Um, so you guys can think of all sorts of creatures you've encountered on your hunts that can spit out uh, acidic breath. Uh, you think of like little bog monsters, uh, uh, Zephyr that once burned some of your burned a whole carriage you were riding uh, with acid breath. Um, Ufla, you think of some lizards you found in a desert one time uh, that spat acid at you and burnt, broke one of your bows uh, that you had with you at the time. Uh, another th time you think of another, like, um, little, like, ghoul thing that burned your coin purse and you lost all your money. Uh, so you guys think of just, like, dozens and dozens of small creatures you've encountered along the way that spit out acid. Uh, none of them have ever been in the mountains or, like, high caves like this, and none of them have M.O.s that match what's happened around here. Um, but you bet plenty of creatures that can spit out acid. Or, like, cause acid burns of some kind. But There's basically wind. nothing else that's this size and scope of monster. I mean, you can just, you think of nonstop how many different creatures or people with magic powers uh, you know that can create acid uh, related damage I know dragonborns are spit acid that's a scary thought I'm not one of them are you sure kind of shoot my blue lightning breath for a minute so you just burp out some lightning energy some electricity yeah. for a little bit yes. um <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's disgusting. That's why I said don't fuck with me. I mean, I'll fuck with you. I don't give a shit. Um, as you guys are sneaking up this tunnel, um, approaching what you assume to be the layer of a creature, everybody give me a stealth check. Uh, okay. 18. 27. 23. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys continue up the tunnel unaccosted, uh, and you just continue seeing the same kind of things. The claws, the corroded walls, all sorts of that. Uh, and it, what looks like um, any sort of veins of gold or veins of gems or anything have been stripped clean uh, from this section of the tunnel, which was not the case of like the earlier sections of the tunnels that you guys walked through. That's so weird. I mean, it has to be a dragon, right, guys? I mean, I mean, I haven't been monster hunting that long. But I've only faced a couple dragons, and every time I've faced a, faced a dragon, they always had hordes of gold and treasures and shit. Yeah, and this, whatever this is, seems to be stripping all the, the valuables from the rock, too. I see an inside check. Yeah, go ahead. Twelve. Twelve? Uh, I mean, what Finn said would make sense. But Yeah, I, mean, I kind of see evidence of a dragon. I mean, I could be totally wrong. I mean, like I said, I mean, you guys have probably been doing this a lot longer than I have. I'm really only doing it to make a name for myself and make a fuck ton of gold. <clears throat> but I've done my research from the fucking books I've constantly stolen from magic shops. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. That's all I can think about is a dragon right now. Okay. Nothing else. As you guys, like, continue up the tunnel and kind of talk, uh, you see what looks to be, like, the cave opening up significantly. Uh, and you even see, like, a bit of light shining through, like natural light, not this, uh, like, these magical lamps that have been placed throughout the mine. Um, up ahead. Is anybody doing any sort of prep or anything before continuing? I'm just going to stay in the shadows. Okay. 
I in the shadows. Pretty much all I'm doing is following. Yeah, I'm, uh, Zephyr is also trying to just kind of stay in the shadows, stay as hidden as possible. Okay. Um, all right. So you guys come up to where this cave seems to open up, uh, and you see, like, a, a small hole on top of the mountain is letting in natural light shining down onto a sleeping, gleaming, young copper dragon. It's, like, front arms are crossed, and its head's laying, and its wing is kind of, like, resting around its side uh, as, like, a mountain of unrefined gems and gold and silver and minerals all kind of, like, pile up at the bottom of this little horde. Uh, as the dragon is just... Um, still asleep. Um, so you guys have luckily not startled it uh, so far. Uh, I'm going to look at the two of them and just be like, all right, just be ready. And I start sneaking. Okay. Um, so this dragon is kind of in the center of this like large, expansive uh, cavern here. Um, Finn, you are sneaking up presumably fastest route towards the dragon. What is everybody else's positioning as before we get underway here? Is there any kind of like a a pillar? Yeah, there's like stalactites and stuff. Yeah. Or stalagmites. Zephyrs? Whichever one's fucking come up from the ground. Stalactites. Yeah, tights come up from the ground. Yeah, yeah. stalactites. G for ground, C, T, uh, C for ceiling. Um, so Zephyr's kind of positioning himself kind of behind one of those. But close enough that he can, like, pop out and throw some throw something magical at the dragon okay. if need be. Um, Ufla, what are you doing? I'm looking for a high rise position, basically, basically like a sniper. Um, so the highest position would probably be like where like this tunnel kind of crescendos into this cavern, and then it like goes down. So like, kind of where you came out or into this room is you have kind of cover behind the wall and you have like your highest elevated position over where the dragon is. Uh, okay. So we'll say we got, uh, Ufla up one corner, um, Zephyr down kind of closer to the dragon on the ground, uh, and Finn sneaking up to it. I need everybody to give me a stealth check. 28. Okay. 12. 21. Alright, uh, you all get to your positions and the dragon still seems to be sleeping. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Uh, also... Before, like, we fully get into this, I forgot to do this. Uh, I'm going to do a Psychic Whisper, which is before combat started. I forgot to do this. Choose mm -hmm. a choose three creatures you can see. I'm only choosing those two. Uh, and then roll one Psychic Dice 1d8 for a number of hours. It shouldn't even really matter. This might be eight. Eight hours! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can all talk, uh, speak telepathically to each other. Okay. As long as we're in a mile of each other. Okay. Okay. Um, Finn, you're sneaking up to the dragon. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm assuming he's just kind of on top of his like hoard of treasure. <coughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to get right up to one of his eyes and just sneak attack it. Um, as you sneak up towards his eye, uh, it reaches out and chomps down on you. Everybody roll initiative. What the fuck did he roll for? His fucking perception. Jesus. Uh, better than a 12. 13. He beat my 28 sneak. 
<laughs> he saw somebody coming in to the thing. Uh, 13, you said? Uh, six. Zephyr? Six for me. Uh, it's going to be a 18. Okay. 18. And Ufala is a six. Uh, so the dragon is going to surprise around on you. Uh, it chomps down on you with its uh, bite. Um, which is not a good way to start. Um, you take 16 plus, you take 20 total damage, uh, as it reaches out and just chomps down on you. Um, uh, but it will be your turn next. <laughs> Do you have 20 hit points? I have 13 left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Finn, you realize that, um, Zephyr seemed to make a little bit of noise getting down into, like, his position, uh, and this, this young dragon, um, noticed it somehow, was not sleeping at soundly, uh, and realized that something else was going on here, um, and you just happened right. to be the nearest to him. Well, as I guess as he lunges out and bites me, I'll just straight up stab his eye. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead With and make a your... shimmering psychic blade that manifests. Uh, 17? 17 is going to hit. 1d6. Uh, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10 damage. And then as a bonus action, I'm just going to attack again. Okay. With my other hand, as another Psychic Blade comes out, and I got a nat 20. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, too bad, it's a fucking d4! That's too bad. It is too bad. Uh, so, it's, it's a damage. Uh, so okay. I'm just kind of like, as he chomps down, I'm just going to get like, <laughs> both at his eyes. Uh, so you stab into his eyes it's like lets you go like Krah! it's clearly like a young like a very young dragon but it gets up on all fours stretches out fully extending its wings uh lands back down at you um it uh you do not seem to blind it uh and it seems to know where you are uh zephyr that's going to be your turn next All right, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast at him. So that is ranged spell attack. Uh, 19. Uh, 19, it, hits, it hits. It hits. So 1d10 damage. Two damage. Um, okay. Uh, as it, like, gets up, starts posturing, uh, you crack it, um, with, uh, a blast. Any bonus actions or movement or anything? Uh, nope. That's gonna be it. Okay. Um, uh, Finn, the dragon bears down uh, on to you. Um, go ahead and give me a dexterity saving throw. Six. 23? Okay, you're gonna pass the save. Uh, do you have evasion? Nope. Um. Uh, I have uncanny dodge. Okay, so then you can live this. Even passing the save, it reaches out and blasts this uh, breath of acid, uh, doing 41 half to 21, which you can half, half again. again to 10. <laughs> but that ends its turn um, as it like releases this splash like beam of acid straight at you 
uh, and it like sears your leg. Um, oh, and my horns are gone. <laughs> you're, I'd say you dodged like luckily, like head first, missing it. Um, uh, but then it like turns and looks at the rest of the group. Uh, Ufla, that brings us to you. I'm within 30 feet, correct? Uh, you are not from your current position. You're like sniper's nest. Yeah, I'm sniper's nest. So I'm going to take a pox out with the bow. Okay. So plus 10 to hit, so it'd be 29. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. 28 plus 5. So six. Uh, okay, so you do six damage uh, to it. Yep. Uh, and it doesn't like that very much. Um, okay, Finn, you have like what? Two health left? Three health Three left? Three health. Uh, what you got going on? <laughs> so, to dragon loves his treasure. I'm saying this to everybody, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna make it fucking chase me. Do some, do something, or I'm dead. So, so in I'd... your in your guys' heads, you hear this. Um, uh, you hear uh, Finn communicate that he's gonna try to get the dragon to chase him. And as I kind of bonus action disengage. Okay. Uh, grab a treasure, like grab a piece of gold, and just. Fucking book it. <laughs> um, give me a charisma check just to see how important a piece of treasure you grab. Uh, do I add anything to it or just straight charisma? Uh, persuasion, we'll say. Persuasion? Dirty 20. Uh, okay, so you grab like a beautiful gem necklace out of this hoard. Like, you see all these rocks and stuff, but there's also, like, stuff that was clearly taken from people who had killed. Um, and you grab a beautiful gem necklace and start sprinting around the cave, uh, and the dragon seems pissed and goes, like, ah! um, I can't make good And I start noises. booking it towards, like, the cave entrance. Okay, so you start running towards the cave entrance, um, where Ufla is shooting from. Okay. Uh, bonus action disengaged, took your full movement, um, in action dash. Okay. Zephyr, you see this dragon start to chase, um, Finn. Uh, what you doing? Uh, how far away is it from me now? They're probably 40 feet from you. <clears throat> how far do you need to be for just by the way? I need to be 30 feet away, so I'm... Yeah, I mean, you can move. Kinda... Yeah, I move up. You. Yeah. Move up, uh... Well, I can move 30 feet, so I'm gonna move the full 30 feet, so I'm only, like, 10 feet away, and catch cast a Witch Bolt at it. Okay. Which is, I need to make a ranged spell attack. Ha <laughs> Nat 20. Uh, you perfectly find... Uh, this, uh, dragon and soft underbelly. Uh. So, this is 3d12 damage. It's, I can cast it for up to a minute, and every time my turn comes around, I can cast another, um, uh, it takes another, uh, what's it called? Oh, I'm looking at it just takes another like full round of damage if if you yeah. want to. You get to choose exactly. or not. So okay. it is going to take. So here's how we're gonna play this out. I want you to roll 6d12 for this initial damage. Alright, so that's ten on the first six on the first three. Twenty-two total damage. Twenty-two total damage, okay. Uh, and then each time we go, we'll just have you roll the 3d12 again. Mm -hmm. um, because of the crit. Um, so you find... Uh, what does your Witch Bolt look like as you cast? Basically, that the scene from Star Wars where the Emperor is 
lighting Luke up with the lightning exactly like that. Uh, so you go blast out unlimited power uh, and just shock the dragon uh, in its underbelly. Uh, and it's going like, but it seems it takes off flying after Finn. Um, you, hear, you hear Quinn in the back of your mind, I'm still the thunder. Uh, and then you hear another voice in the back of your head, hey, don't listen to that guy. That was a pretty dope fucking spell. And this was really good. There's a, I, I believe in you, man. You guys, you guys got this. Uh, okay. Um, how fast can you move there? Um, Quinn, old buddy. 30 feet. So, 60 altogether. 60 altogether. Okay. Uh, this dragon's going to make three attacks at you, because it takes off flying, uh, and... and it's fucking flying speed is so much better than... Flying speed, speed is 80. <laughs> okay. So, first attack, uh, with its bite, which is the more dangerous one. What's your AC? 15. Uh, uh, Finn, <laughs> you go down as it bites on you. Um, Can I, like, chuck the fucking necklace to uh, Sniper Boy? Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a strength check as you as you get chomped by a dragon. Daddy won! <laughs> you go... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Finn, you're like, fuck, 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 I'm going to die, I'm going to die. You go to wind up to chuck the necklace, and the dragon's tooth prounces through your hand holding the necklace and just pins you to the ground before it chomps down on you, uh, not fully eating you, but taking you out, and it, like, puts its, like, one of its claws on you and, like, growls at the other two. Um, Zephyr, you can tell you hurt it pretty good when you just... Uh, with what you just did, uh, but Finn is out. Um, not dead, but out. Um, the dragon took all of its movement to chase Finn, so it can't get to either of the rest of you. Um, and it's just holding Finn down there for right now. I'm not gonna be that mean and have it just gore your body this turn. Uh, I got another character. You can always come to save the day. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, uh, it's gonna be your turn. <laughs> As I looked down to see that he was tossing this necklace at me, kind of looked at him like, you're about 20 feet short. <laughs> I'm already dead, bro. I can't hear you. Uh, and Ufla, if you refresh your character sheet again, I gave you spells because you didn't have spells, apparently. Okay. I knew about the breath weapon. That was about it. Okay. And that would be under action, right? Uh, spells, actually. Um, oh, okay, cool. I believe all your spells take an action to roll, or take an action to cast. The um, only one that doesn't is obviously the... Well, Hail of Thorns and uh, Hail of Thorns doesn't. Um, but you yeah, don't have and his uh, mark. No, it's not on there yet. So I, I'm probably you don't have Hunter's Mark, you didn't have enough. I gave him healing spells because you guys didn't have a healer. Um, <laughs> but Ufla... <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, wounds, it, works. it is your turn. Um... Even though he's dead, does he still have to make a deck saving throw? Uh, he would just automatically uh, fail. I automatically fail it, and you do a full damage. Uh, you'll just get a you'll just get a death save fail on it. I'm gonna move. To, I'm instead of just gonna move down instead of trying to take a shot. Move down about twenty feet. Okay. Uh, so you move down from the sniper's nest. You still have your action, and you're not in range of the dragon, so you can take a shot like with your bow and just not do the hail of thorns. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Get that back up. This one's a little weird to navigate, but I'm getting used to it. It's just a different different interface than you're used to. I think it's cleaner. and It is cleaner. I kind of like it. Yeah. So, 10 plus 10, 20. Oh, uh, yeah, that hits. The 8. Oh, it was a 10. What's the wrong one? Six. Six uh, damage. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Plus five, so it's 11 damage. 11 damage. Much better than six. Uh, this dragon is hurt. Like, the arrow pierces it. Uh, it's clearly, like, uh, taken, like, a pretty big chunk of damage. Um, but it's also wildly, wildly dangerous of a creature. Um, 
Finn, I need you to make your first death saving throw. 17. Uh, that is a pass. That's great. Uh, Zephyr, that brings us to you. So now that it flew after Finn, I it's outside the range of my witch bolt bow, right? Uh, no, it's it's. I'll say you like move to keep it within range. Well, if I if I move it because of the concentration spell, you can move. You can't like cast another spell that requires oh, concentration. Okay. So another three d twelve. Okay, go ahead and roll that for me. Sixteen damage. Uh, that's pretty good. It is displeased with things, admittedly. Um, is does it take your action to do the damage again, or is it? Yes, that's my action. Okay. <laughs> uh, any bonus actions you want to do? Uh, no. Okay. Um. The little baby dragon is going to uh, come over towards Zephyr because it sees that Zephyr is doing a pretty uh, is pretty mean to it right now, uh, and it's going to make three attacks. Uh, what's your AC, Zephyr? Eleven. Uh, fuck, that's bad. Um, it's going to hit you with a bite, which is the worst one to get hit by. Uh. You take 19 damage as it chomps in you. Give me a concentration check, uh, which is just going to be a DC 10 intelligence uh, check. Or what? whatever your spellcasting ability is, which is charisma for warlocks, I think. Well, I failed. Eight. Um, okay, so your concentration on the Witch Bolt breaks. Um, uh, but... Uh, you take that, yeah, the 16 damage. Then it's going to make two attacks with its claws, which are not as bad to get hit by. It's going to miss once, hit another time, though. Um, 5, 10. Uh, so you take 14 more damage from the claw, as it, so 30 damage total, as it bites in you and claws at you once. And as a reaction, I'm casting Hellish Rebuke. Okay. So, point me finger at a creature that damaged you is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames. The creature must make a dexterity saving throw. It takes 2d10 2D fire damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful. What's your spell save, DC? Uh, uh, 13. Okay, it is going to pass, so it's going to take half of your 2d10. Oh, actually, I cast it at a third level, so that's a 4d10. Okay, so it's going to take half of your 4d10. So it is taking... Spellcasters are cool. <coughs> I rolled a 21 for the damage. Okay, so it's going to take 10 damage from that. Uh, all right. That's Litty Titty. Uh, Ufala. Um, you're up. You've kind of moved down. Uh, the dragon has run away from you towards Zephyr. Uh, Finn is still, like, unconscious on the ground, pretty gored up. Uh, what are you doing? I can't use any of my specials, my slots, because of Finn down close. He's basically dead, and I don't want him to fail, so I'm just going to keep shooting. Well, you could go heal him. Oh, yes. Cure wounds. Good point. And i got to be right on top of him, don't I? To do that one, yes. And I'm how far away? Uh, within one movement. Uh, you're cast. probably 20 feet away from him, so you can... So you can move up to him, touch him, and then, like, move away. Okay, so I'll run up to him and cast it real quick. Uh, do you want to cast at a first or second level? Second. Okay, so he's gonna heal for... You're gonna roll 2d8 plus 3, and that's what he's gonna heal. So 18 heal points back. Dang. That's a good roll. Uh, okay, so Finn, you go hit um, you you cast a you get rejuvenated with energy life. Your wounds seem to heal. 
as you see that the dragon is now bearing down on Zephyr, uh, doing a pretty significant amount of damage to him. Um, Ufula moves away, uh, kind of takes cover again, uh, pointing his bow out. Uh, you are back up now. Uh, I will allow you to give me a stealth check for free, because the dragon assumed you were dead. Uh, uh 29? <laughs> okay. I'm... I'll, I'll let you do with a 29 stealth check, uh, whatever, I'll, you can f decide how to feel about that 29 stealth check. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, he is royally pissed, he doesn't even care if he's noticed or not at this point, and he's just gonna sneak up to this dragon and fucking try to slit its fucking Achilles. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and make your attack roll. Fucking shit's frozen beyond belief. I can't even scroll. Oh, that's why. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, it's going to be a 16. Uh, 16 does not hit. Oof. And then I'll bonus. I'll allow you to make the attack with advantage uh, because you're attacking okay. from hidden. Uh, actually, you do get to make the attack with advantage because you're attacking from hidden. I forgot about that. I fucking haven't played a rogue in like three years. Uh, 17 plus four. Ah, uh, it hits. Okay. Uh, 46. Ten, 15, 20, 24 points of damage. Okay. Uh, and then bonus action, I'm just going to attack the other hand with the Psychic Blade. Okay. That's going to be All right. 14. Uh, okay. The dragon looks pretty fucking beat up. Uh, not going to lie here. Um, as, as Finn, you dash up silently, just like skipping, making a, like w your way in tune with, with the dragon, all the noise the dragon's making. You take one of your psy Psychic Daggers and just slash the back leg of this dragon as it goes and starts, like, hobbling on three legs. Uh, and then you go and, like, make another cut on the underbelly as, like, you're kind of dashing through. Um, but it doesn't, like, doesn't really make purchase as you're kind of, like, dashing through this uh, and get onto one side of the dragon. Zephyr, that's going to bring us to your turn. Go ahead and do that voodoo you do. So the dragon's, like, right on top of me now, right? Yes. It needs to make a DC 13 con save. Uh, it's going to fail. Okay, so <clears throat> casting Thunderclap on it. So it's mm -hmm. taking 2d6 damage. Takes 7 more damage. Uh, 7 damage. Okay. It is. <laughs> I thought you were like, how do you want to end this? I'm like, damn, I was only seven damage away. <laughs> it is badly, badly beat up. Um, and as a bonus action, I'm going to use one of those uh, health potions that I bought off of Quinn last week. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, you, so you're, that's just the 4d4 4 flat, yeah. <laughs> it came in handy. <laughs> Quinn definitely sneezes somewhere. So I take 10 back. Okay. Here's what I want you to do, Zephyr. Before we go any further, you just caused a loud thunderous explosion in a cave. Um, yes. I would like you to roll an Arcana check to see how controlled your boom was. Kaboom. You better hit a nat 20. 16. Okay. So you do that. You see a few, like, rocks jar loose from the ceiling, but the cave structure in general seems to be holding. However, it is the Dargan's turn. His first attack's gonna go at Zephyr. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I gotta re... I gotta see if I get the breath back. I don't. Why would I recharge the breath? 
first attack, the bite is going to miss Zephyr. The second attack, first claw is going to hit, doing six, 12, 16 damage to Zephyr with the claw. Um, and then its third attack is going to make a claw at Finn. Uh, and 11 isn't going to fucking hit you, because why would I roll good in critical moments? Um, but you get clawed across uh, the chest one last time, taking 16 damage, Zephyr. Uh, Ufla, that's going to bring us to you. From my position, where am I? Uh, you, like, healed uh, Finn and then, like, kind of took cover, so you'd be, like, shooting at the back of the dragon now. I'm going to use 30 feet of movement and get in front of the dragon. Uh, okay. And then the dragon needs to make a deck save. Uh, the dragon is going to roll a 15 on its deck save, which I'm going to assume saves against your thing, but it'll take half of your Hail of Thorns. It's not going to be Hail of Thorns. Ooh. Nice. Nice cast, though. Very nice. I'm going to cast Breath Weapon. Okay. Uh, it's 15. It's, I, I believe still saves, but it will still take half. Yes, it still takes half. So let me pull it up here. Let's see where I need to throw. Should be like 2d8. Uh, <clears throat> breath Weapon. Uh, 2d6. Yeah, 2d6 for damage. Uh, and it will be halved. It, so seven total, so in half it'd be four, I want to say. Uh, it's round down, so it's going to take three damage. Three damage, okay. Ufala, finish this dragon. <laughs> it had three <laughs> hit yeah. points left. Hell yeah, that makes up my miss four hit points. Alright. Just inhale and then exhale all every bit of this blue lightning electricity out and just fries him. Uh you see that like the it's not yeah, it's not resistant to anything. Uh you see that the uh like the lightning like conducts perfectly through its copper skin. Um just like, volting and, like, shocking the dragon. <laughs> uh, zapping it uh, before it fries into a smoky, uh, burnt corpse. Anybody want dragon for dinner? No. Wouldn't that be cannibalism in your case? Yeah, or what? Wait, what? That's what? <laughs> so I was asking you that. I don't want it. So, you're a cannibal, then. I just said, I was asking you guys. I don't want it. But you asked, so that means you've done it before. In dire situations, yes. Alright, so on one hand, we have a racist person. On the other, we have a cannibal. You guys are fucked up. Uh, resemble that remark? Um, <laughs> no. sir, you straight up called me a, like, all tieflings chaotic evil. Well, after the sheriff punch you, you don't have very many teeth, so you're good. <laughs> Do you want me to stab you? <laughs> Remember, I do know where your soft point is. And what's that? Oh, my knife felt it earlier. That was I mean, I have skin. Of course it's all soft, you fuck nut. Uh, I mean, while, while, while they're going back and forth, Zephyr kind of slinks back to the big pile of treasure that the dragon was sleeping on and starts, like, shoveling stuff into his pockets. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, go ahead and give me an, uh, just a perception check. Uh, 
perception is plus three, so that's 18. 18. Uh, you notice that most of the shit is, like, realistically pretty worthless for you. It's all unrefined gold uh, in, like, ore and stuff. Uh, you do find, like, some gems which could be, like, pretty easily flipped um, for, like, profit and shit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll a D... We'll roll two D100s. Uh, you, like, get basically 120 gold worth of stuff to trade. Um, uh, Finn definitely go grabs that necklace. Uh, you grab the necklace. Uh, it's probably worth about 100 gold, but it's nicer, like, in its current state, but it's nicer than most of the shit around here, which would be more expensive and more time-consuming to flip into something of value than, um... Regular, on yeah. Fine gold. <laughs> yeah, it's easier. Yeah, and you guys can all like grab, you guys can all grab like an extra on top of whatever you like shoveled in. You can grab like an extra hundred gold worth of shit um, but... here. Um, uh, what are you guys thinking to like take trophy wise from the dragon? It's a fucking head. I was about to say take the head. Yeah. Okay. I want it as a trophy. How are you guys going to get it off? Do any of you have a sword or axe or anything? I got a sword. Okay. Um, I think I had a sword. Okay, so you guys uh, saw off the dragon's head. Um, uh, anything else you guys are doing in here? Uh, I'm going to peel off some of its uh, scales. Okay. You do that? And a claw. Okay. One claw, claw or like the entire hand? Just a claw. Just one. Okay. Talon. Talon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Anybody else? No? I'm taking... I'm... Uh, Zephyr's taking a few of his scales as well. Okay. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Same. Um, so you guys follow the rope back... Uh, you see Potsworth is smoking at the entrance of the mines, like, oh, shit, you guys didn't, uh... I did, but someone healed me. I mean, you didn't die, <laughs> die. I, I looked up my shirt and see, like, if the gaping holes are still there. Uh, it, nope. it looks like there's, like, some evidence of, like, a wound, but not, like, but it's healed. Um, I don't believe you, buddy. I assume you didn't die. You're still standing here, so you didn't die. They can attest. My whole chest was bitten into. Oh, I don't really give a fuck. He was dead. I would have just taken his share personally, but I'm gonna. We're gonna have to go back to full work now. If you guys made it out successfully, so. Eh. Like I said, man, you gotta riot. Gotta stand up for yourselves. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, hey, the boss man wanted to see you. Uh, kind of whispered him, you know, if you want me to take care of the boss, just let me know. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> 20, not a natural 20 plus 4, so 24. Uh, he just kind of whispered back. Now, how much would something like that cost me? You know, a couple of you and your buddies, <coughs> you know, 2,500 gold all together. You could find a couple more people. What if I, what about some information? Information's good too. The, uh, boss has a little safe in his office, tucked under his desk. I'm sure, there's more than 2,500 gold in there. You got yourself a deal. Alright, man. Anyway, guys, the boss man wanted to see you. Uh, he just kind of nods at you. Uh, I, I catch up with the other two. <laughs> um, and start heading to the boss. Uh, so, it's this small little man, nervous looking, uh, with these glasses again. And he's like, yes. <gasps> you guys have made it back! Hello, hello, congratulations! 
You have... You... you you've lived! Uh, yeah. We definitely lived. Yeah, and, uh, oh my gosh, a dragon? It was a dragon you killed! Yep. Wow. So, yeah, uh, well... Thank you so much. My mind can return to uh, normal operation. Normal operation. Um, here's the thing. Is, uh... Well, I uh, assume... You want to go and give that reward to... You're going to go to the sheriff and give the bounty and claim all that stuff, right? That's your plan? Uh, that was my plan, yeah. I would assume so. That was my plan. So here's the thing about when uh, something like this happens is the sheriff then has to come and file a full investigative report about some things. Um, and... Uh, well, if she digs in a little too deep, she might find some stuff that I don't necessarily want found out, if that makes sense. So how about this? You guys have killed the the dragon. What if I give you, uh, the bounty was 7,000, what if I give you 8,000 to just not give it to the sheriff and not report back to her and leave town immediately? 20,000. Each. 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 That is that is not fiscally possible for me. I. I how heavy is the head of the dragon? Uh, can, can it was I like theoretically it, hold it. You would have to slam use it on his table. If you use two hands, you could slam it on his table. I slam it on the table and go like, you know, that's a really big ask for us. We're sticking. We're gonna stick our heads out for a little. Bitty fucking piece of shit like you. So you don't have your company disbanded, you know, looked into. You're not what you're not sticking your heads out for someone like me. You're sticking your heads out for a thousand more gold. Uh, what if I do? There's three of you. We'll do an even number. Nine thousand gold across the board. Nine thousand gold. Three thousand each. That's more than you would have got splitting the seven thousand for the sheriff. That's more than generous. 20 each. That's not possible. That is an... 20,000 20, each is a little hard to even get. I'll admit that. 13,000 each. I simply cannot do that. Really? I can you go... Money. You obviously have enough money to support 50 workers that have died here, right? Did you give any compensation to, to those families? Silence. I instantly take out a dagger and just slit his throat. <laughs> Go ahead and make an attack roll with advantage. <laughs> uh, 22. <laughs> yeah, uh, you... How do you kill this man? I kind of like... Uh, I, <laughs> I kind of grab him, force him to the dragon's head, and just close the dragon's mouth. <sighs> okay you force his head like down into the dragon's mouth and just slam it shut fully decapitating him his head falls into the mouth of the dragon and his body slumps down um how are Zephyr and uh Ufla at reacting to this and you say that Tieflings aren't chaotic evil? I take out a psychic uh, blade and just hand it. Don't say anything. Don't. Yeah, you both... he kind of just, just proved the reputation. Better. You both don't, don't say... Slide. You guys hear a, a distinct... <laughs> uh, a very, very distinct sound of boots walking outside. Zephyr just grabs the head off the ta off the desk <clears throat> and rushes to the door so that he can get there before the sheriff shows up to the office. I sneak and sees what happened. I uh, go ahead and give me an athletics check, Zephyr. Uh, this is not going to end well. Two. <laughs> Zephyr, you go. You go to lift up the dragon's head, and you're like. 
try to run away and you realize that you just like you you try to grab on its horns and your hands just slip off uh in the back of your mind you hear oh sorry about that one bud uh and there's like a big knock on the door but the second knock just like busts the door open and you see this orc sheriff uh cowboy hat and all standing in the doorway can i roll to like sneak away <laughs> yeah go ahead 25 uh how are you trying to sneak out of this place uh is there like a window in his office yeah there's like a window in the back i kind of just open that silently and just dip out as you're climbing out the window a dagger comes and pins your like clothes and everything against the wall and you are stuck like hanging half in half out of this window she said don't Try to want run away from me. I'm scared of you, okay? You should. I Maybe you shouldn't be. I mean, look at what we have here. Maybe I'm the one who should be scared of you. What? What do you mean? She closes the door behind her and Pottsworth comes in. Um, she's kind of walking with her big pickaxe over her shoulder. She says, she motions to Ufula and says, bring him down. Come on. <laughs> I grab him and pick him up. Now, which one of you, I don't even care. You'd all be accomplices anyway. Uh, everybody go ahead and give me a group persuasion check. Nineteen. Six. Twenty-two. Yeah, lucky two of you beat the DC. <laughs> okay. She sets her pickaxe down, takes off, uh, goes behind the desk, just kind of like kicks the bottle and like grabs a, or kicks the body and then grabs a bottle of something from like a liquor cabinet. She sits down in the chair like across in the dragon, puts her head up on the thing and says, well, you boys cause quite a bit of trouble. Takes a big swig. But you also solve quite a big problem. So I'll tell you uh, what. We'll make a little deal. We like deals, don't we? Yeah. I'll give you guys 5000 for the dragon doing the job. And then 2000 goes to me as, uh, we'll call it premature <coughs> bail money. How's that sound? Finn just goes, all right. She throws uh, a coin purse filled with approximately one-third of $5,000 or 5,000 gold pieces to you. It says, you can leave. How does the deal sound for the rest of you two? That's not like a deal to me. If Finn walks out, he just kind of gives a pat on the shoulder to uh, Pentworth. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, she tosses a uh, coin purse to Ufala. Says, you can leave. Last but not least. Sounds like a deal to me, and I am getting out of this town. I think that's a very good idea for you. Tosses you a coin purse. Uh, she leans back in the chair, sipping the bottle as you guys all leave the uh, all leave the general manager's office. Uh, from inside, you can hear her say, "Well, Pottsworth, whatever happens with that safe, I don't know anything about it." Uh, she brings the bottle with her, puts her cowboy hat back on, walks out of the uh, um, manager's office, and heads back into town. As uh, we all... I guess I sneak back into the office through the window. <laughs> uh, Potsworth's already gone, and there is no safe. <laughs> I just look around for anything. Uh, I mean, there's like some nice bottles of wine and liquor and shit. The, the guy has had a wallet or a coin, like he had some stuff on him worth of, you know, a few hundred golden value. I 
<laughs> That's everything to Finn, so he'll take the bottles, he'll probably pot them off somewhere. Okay. <laughs> uh, Finn steals the stuff, Potsworth is gone, there's no safe. Uh, and we will pan out from Sassina, another monster successfully slayed, and monster hunters sort of adequately rewarded. Uh, let's go, baby. <laughs> All right, everybody, that was another episode of Idiots Rolling Dice, Monster Hunters Wanted, uh, our fun little side adventure uh, where I just try to get a big monster and kill our party. Um, so that was a good one. Uh, I had fun. I hope everybody else had fun uh, tuning into it uh, and listening with the, along with the podcast or uh, watching along with the video feed later. Uh, yeah. Um, so how many times can I say um? Reset. All right. My name is Mimic the Idiot. I am the Dungeon Master of our campaigns currently active. Uh, tonight, I was joined by Jimmy SHR14, who played Ufula, another ranger. Uh, Mr. Play the Fool, who played Zephyr, his returning character from the first episode of Monster Hunters Wanted. Uh, and Vex, who played Finn, a new tiefling rogue uh, that he was excited to introduce us. Uh, and they killed a young copper dragon, which was real fun for them. Uh, yeah, we, uh, appreciate all the support on the channel and stuff. Follow along with the social medias. Uh, Twitter is at erdpod, I-R-D-P-O-D. And you can tweet about the show using hashtag erdpod, uh, especially if you have, like, any art or anything you want to share. Um, and then you can follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Idiots Rolling Dice. I know I'm not the best at posting on social media, um, but I have a lot going on in addition to producing these episodes and doing all the prep and stuff. So I'm trying to get better. We'll get there eventually, right? At some point. Um, but follow there because if there's updates about the show, updates about, like, this this past week's episode was delayed, you can find out on the Twitter feed for updates and then the Instagram and TikTok feeds for um, video content, clips, and highlights from the sessions and stuff. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in across this episode, any of the previous episodes. We really do appreciate it. Uh, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.